Hey everyone, welcome back to An Extrovert Paints. In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about this game out there called Human Interface, also known as Hint. So, uh, as you know, I'm getting into cyberpunk miniatures, and uh, there's a lot of interesting companies out there, a lot of great miniatures. And a lot of people have been talking about the Kickstarter for this game, Human Interface, so I checked out their website. It is based in, uh, I want to say Poland, but it's not really clear where they're shipping from. Uh, sometimes they ship from the UK, sometimes from Poland. It depends on where the warehouse is. So either way, I saw the Kickstarter. I was too late for it, but um, I did note that their website has a bunch of box sets available. So I've done... Um, a video on some of the metal miniatures that I got and they're really really nice and I just want to show you an example of one um, this is this is the cyborg hunter I haven't painted him up yet obviously I'm just showing you to show the detail and it's got a lot of really great well sculpted fine detail on this I mean you look at the head it's like it's like infinity level detail it's pretty amazing so I saw this, I got these, and I was like, man, I got to check out their plastics because, you know, their main game has like 100, 200 some miniatures, and it's very mega, mega cheap. I mean, for as many miniatures as it sells. So uh, I, I waited, kind of, I kind of thought about it, um, and I realized that, you know, Poland's a bit far away. Um, the Kickstarter had just ended. I didn't want to put any money out until I knew, you know, basically I, I, until I knew that I was going to be able to get them relatively quickly. I didn't want to wait, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks for it to ship out of Poland. And unfortunately, I already had a bad experience with shipping because originally when I bought these, um, they, sent, uh, they sent this out and then the order never got to me. It was like, it was like two or three months I waited for just like two miniatures, this one and another one. And I was like, huh, hmm. So I uh, I decided, you know, I better I better wait, you know, just buy my time. And I was right in doing so because eBay started sending me alerts that Hint miniatures had been starting to populate uh, from people that had purchased Kickstarter. My guess is in a retail fashion they had purchased it. So... Um, I waited till the price came down on a couple of the Kickstarter exclusive sets, and then I bought the sets from eBay, and it got, it got to me in like two days. It was glorious. Meanwhile, so I'm sitting here with – I'll get to the miniatures in a second, but I really got to stress this story because it's important. Meanwhile, the people that had purchased from the Kickstarter are really, really upset because they have not gotten their stuff yet. Some people have. Like, there's a few people that have, but some people have said that they got shipping notifications back in September, and it is now January, and they still haven't gotten their miniatures yet, and they are furious. So, it was kind of, you know, kind of prescient of me to wait, and I feel bad for the people that actually paid for it the Kickstarter, because not only did they have to wait until it released from the Kickstarter, but they had to wait for it to actually get delivered, so... In hindsight, I was kind of happy that I, <laughs> I waited. That said, quality of miniatures. So when I got the box, I was kind of, you know, I was impressed, first of all, by how, how many. So I got basically three boxes. I got the uh, Human Interface Be a Better Human box, which is their main game. Uh, Blood on the Floor, which is a supplement game. And then I got all of their Kickstarter exclusives, exclusives which was fantastic. Because that was really what I was going after. Now, I don't really have any intention <clears throat> of playing the game because, um, well, it's just not my not my bag, really. I mean, it's really what I'm interested in is the miniatures and using the miniatures for games like Reality's Edge or any other game that, that kind of drives my attention. So, either way, I was really disinterested in the miniatures. So I opened the box, and to say I was disappointed would be to put it a little mildly because now I didn't, again, I didn't pay retail for this, but the retail cost for the game is like, like 
200 300 dollars it's a lot of money the quality of these miniatures is subpar and so essentially what they are they're pvc miniatures so they have a lot of flashing on the side their detail is mm, especially when you get into like the fine detail on the plastics compared to the metal it's night and day it is the the miniatures are just not there in terms of details uh and the other issue is um there's a lot of like weird seams and i'll show you guys in a second what i'm talking about now i've painted up two of these miniatures completely and they're right here these two and i'll show them to you in a second uh i started work on these three here all these two and then this is the third one that i'm going to be working on here in a, in a minute but um but when they paint up, they paint up okay if you're a good painter. And I'm not saying I'm good or anything like that. I'm just saying that I have been doing this for a while, so I know certain techniques that will bring out details that are missing. Um, but if you're, a, if you're just an okay painter or if you're just, um, you know, just starting out, you're not going to be able to bring out the same level of detail that I was able to bring out. And... That's not that's not saying that you couldn't with more practice because obviously from my previous videos you know that I'm a firm believer that if you keep trying at something you're going to get there eventually, but um, you know for for those of you who are not quite at that level yet you might find painting these up to be a bit challenging, and that's because it's hard to tell where one detail starts and another one ends because they're not again they're not really well defined, and I'm gonna start I'm gonna stop complaining about it and just show you so this is just a primed miniature okay and you see this arm right here it looks like it was like a separate piece that someone just put on like they just kind of shoved it in there they didn't really do any sort of cleanup work or anything and yeah it's really hard to tell if i don't know if you can see it's not my camera being blurry or anything like that that's just how poor the detail quality is on this like you can see the seam line here and you can't really tell if this is hair or a hat. Is, is there a mask? It looks like there might be a mask on her face. It's hard to tell. It's, the detail level is just so bad. And the same thing with this arm. Like look at this arm, how it's popping almost, again, I can't, sorry. It's popping out of the, out of the socket there. Like it looks like it's, it was glued in, but it was glued in so poorly that they didn't fill any of the seams in. So this is a little bit, frustrating and all the miniatures are like this it's not like oh only a handful are like this no all the miniatures are this poor so here's this is just one with some paint on it I, the reason why i did that was just so i could show you you know how they how they take paint and they take paint well once you prime them up the problem is unless you're like priming really really thin you're gonna you're gonna end up missing all those details again so you can see here, this is real flexible PVC. I wouldn't go too far with with uh, bending this stuff because it will break off. But again, um, really lacking in quality here. I mean, I, again, this is just base coats put on. I haven't done any more work to it. And now what you really want to get into is this. This one is unfortunate because this is one of my favorite miniatures from the Kickstarter. I thought that, man, she looks so badass. Like, I can't wait to paint this person up and person this miniature up you know to really show how awesome she is and god look at that sword but this is it's really wonky like probably hard to tell on the camera but the arm doesn't connect with the hand over here and again this is one of the ones where someone looks like they glued it together and then didn't do any cleanup work or didn't really care enough about the miniature to put the time and effort in to, to really kind of make it look nice and, I mean, the details on the face, they're okay, right? But it's not, they're not glorious. They're, they're really not. So, with some, some effort, and I, I do emphasize effort, I did manage to paint two of them up to look pretty decent. So, I'm going to show you what those look like. So, this is um, one of the, the, the roller skating one. And I'm kind of using her as... Um, uh, kind of like a like a runner or something like that. Someone who's really quick, and it's, she has like a dagger in the back. So I, I decided to give it a bit of a green tint. Um, this is cyberpunk after all, so I didn't want it to look too plain. I wanted to bring out some some color, 
And I really referenced the original painted miniatures um, when I was kind of putting this together so that um, I, I kind of knew where everything went. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy with how this miniature turned out. But again, the detail was so terrible, I didn't know she was wearing goggles. Like, I had, that's all hand painted. That's not, there's no sculpting detail left. That is, that is just me with some paint kind of winging it. Because in the original miniature, she is wearing these sort of goggles on her forehead, but it, you just can't really tell because of how, uh, of how badly the sculpt is. So, again, with, with some effort, you will get, you will get to them to look pretty, pretty decent. Let me just move my light a little bit so it, it actually hits the miniature and not, like, around it. So this is the other one that I did, and this was one of my other favorite miniatures from the set. And uh, hopefully you guys can see her. There's a couple of things I need to work on yet. The gun isn't quite done, and the hands need a little bit more work on them. But again, I, I really tried to bring this up to some level of, of decency. And I'm not sure if I nailed it or not with this one. This was this is kind of a bit of a a rough go. Um, but overall, I am I am relatively happy with how it turned out. It, it looks good at tabletop standard level. So I mean, as far as that goes, you know, I'm I'm pretty okay with how it turned out. It's not the best miniature I've ever painted, but it's definitely not the worst. And given the sculpt, it's it's really not bad at all. So I did want to show you that they are paintable they're just you just have to really take your time and really pay attention to you know where the cyborg parts are where the um where the clothing ends and the other bits of clothing begin because they are a bit of a mess and you will have to spend a longer time on them than you really think you need to unless you don't care and you're using like contrast paints or inks or something like that, and you just slap them on and whatever they're done, that's totally fine. And in fact, I would probably recommend using, you know, uh, like uh, quick shade inks from Army Painter to paint these up. I feel like you're going to have a better result than if you spend time layering them if you don't really, if you're not really confident in your painting skills just yet, because they're going to come out okay. They're just going to need a little bit of extra, maybe like one or two highlights after you get the shade on them to really bring out those details that are kind of obscured by the molding process. So I, I don't want to really come down super, super hard on these miniatures because there are a lot of them. And for the, I, I will say that even though they're pricey at retail, if you can get them for a little bit cheaper, you are getting a good deal on the range, and there are some really nice, con conceptually nice um, miniatures in the box. You just have to, you just have to be aware that you're not getting, you know, th this is a board game, right? So I mean, I do want to stress that these are board game miniatures. So I guess you know, from a perspective of other board game miniatures, these are like really high quality for board games, but as far as tabletop, like skirmish level, um, wargaming style miniatures, these are well below the standard and will require a lot of work. So it, it really is kind of your call on where you fall in line with this. If you, if you want to get a box or, or something like that, if you want to get these miniatures, check it out on eBay or third party sellers. If you can avoid it, don't get it direct from the company because you will be waiting in eternity to get them. I mean, people are furious. I've been reading the comments and, and stuff like that on Facebook and all, on the – everywhere. It's everywhere. There's there's just comments about how crap the, the, the service level is to get this stuff. So I, uh, I do recommend getting it third party. So this has been a 15-minute rant <laughs> about these miniatures, but because um, – I have had experiences and other people have had experiences. I do think it's important to get the good and the bad out there so people that are looking to make a decision can make an informed one. I'm not regretful of my purchase. Like, I am happy with these miniatures, um, you know, for what they are. I'm, I'd rather have them than not have them, if that makes sense. 
but you know, compared to Infinity or some of the wonderfully sculpted miniatures from the new Zombicide Invaders, which are just phenomenal. Here's one that I was working on. It's not done yet, but here's one I'm I've been working on. Um, I have again not done, <laughs> but very very happy with the sculpts on these. These are really amazing plastics, actually, and uh, I couldn't recommend the. Zombicide Invaders miniatures for for Cyberpunk enough, and either sci any sci-fi game actually they they work great for sci-fi. Um, but uh, these it really is if you care or not about the quality of the miniatures because you are going to get a lot of them. You're going to get a lot of miniatures in, in the same pose in the regular box set, um, especially with like the security. Corporate security forces and the robots, they're all the same poses. So you have to kind of be okay with that. Um, but as far as like the individual Kickstarter exclusive miniatures and the heroes of these sets, they're good to have if you want to kind of build up your collection of cyberpunk miniatures. But they are not in any way, shape, or form the amazing miniatures that they appear to be on their Kickstarter and on their website. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Quick warning from an extrovert paints. Hope you guys are having a great January and I'll be back again soon with some more content. Catch you guys later.